Hello folks. Well, I finally got this thing done. And what is this? This is a bracket system that holds my camera and auto guider. And I'm actually going to take it apart and I'm going to paint it to make it really look uh, for aesthetics reasons. And I'll show you all the pieces that went into making this thing. And one good thing is with this is I can actually take this, it, it's right now it's mounted directly to my Cirrus mount. It can go on my Atlas mount because it's got a dovetail uh, mounting bracket. But it can also go directly on my telescope too for uh, piggyback riding on the telescope. The whole thing weighs about between five and six pounds, five and a half or six pounds. So anyways, I'm Gerd Zapatello and you're watching AstroQuest One. Alright, here's how the whole thing looks when it's off the mount. This thing over here is just a brackets for weight, so it's perfectly balanced right now. So now I'm going to take it all apart, and I'll go through each what, what part, what the parts are, and then I'm going to paint it, put it back together again, and I'll show it to you guys in use. Okay, here's the main part. This is the aluminum bracket that I'm going to paint, and here's the underside of it. Okay, let me go through everything before I paint these items right here. This is my main bracket, and there's several holes in here, and that sits on there like this. These things right here are spacers. The reason I needed to put the spacers on here is because I had to raise it up in order to turn the mount bracket screws for my Cirrus mount. The Atlas, I didn't have to worry about it, but the Cirrus I do, so I just put these spacers on here. This is your normal eight inch piece uh, dovetail piece. And I just had to put some extra holes in it. Okay. This is my auto guider and that's gonna, that sits right over here like this. And this is a Velo after the market 62 millimeter ring that holds my Canon lens. I know it used to just put mount stuff right here on the camera but with this particular lens it's very top heavy and it was and it for some reason they didn't make Canon doesn't make a ring holder for this lens I guess it's right on the cost but if it was any bigger they'd put a ring holder on there but anyways but I did find an after the market one for a pretty reasonable price too I think it was about you know, 20 or 30 dollars or so something like that but it's pretty solid and I put a little I, it had a, it had the screw hole in here, but I had to um, open it up at the top. I put a little more drill so I, so you can actually go through it. The other addition I had on here is, I put this, th these things. But I'm not, I'm not going to paint these things. But this thing is another hole that goes into where you would um, the camera. And what this is going to do, it's going to really make it nice and solid. So even if this was loose. The, ca the camera won't won't slide around. I don't need to. I didn't need to put this on here. This is just a precaution, but I think it's uh, well worth it. So that's it. I'm gonna paint this whole thing, and then I'm gonna put it back together again, and then show it to you guys in use. Okay. Well, here it is after a nice fresh coat of paint. Actually, it doesn't look too bad now. I think it looks pretty good. I decided to paint those two brackets anyways. Uh, now I'm gonna put it back together again. Okay here it is all together again and it's all centered pretty well. Now I'm gonna put it on to my mount and show you what it looks like. Well hello. Well it's finished and I'm happy with it. I think it looks uh, pretty good. Let me just show you another thing here. This is where you put the battery in and I made it so the bracket doesn't interfere with removing a battery or not. Now I happen to have an electric one of these charger battery here that I don't need to change it. I just plug it in so I don't have to worry about changing it. But if I didn't have this and I had batteries and I had to change it, you can easily do it. So what else can I say? Oh, why? Why did I do this? Uh, why didn't I just um, buy one of those saddle brackets? They, they have these saddle brackets which would do, which would do the same thing. Those 
the, the cheapest one you're going to get is about $120. And this thing that I had, I just had a $20 piece of aluminum that I had hanging out. So I, I just went ahead and built my own. I would advise not doing this if you're not handy and you're not comfortable with building things because it's not easy to uh, tinker around. But if you like tinkering around with stuff, you might consider doing this. I watched a video by Scott Losmandy, and that's basically what he was saying. He, he, he started his company back in the 70s because he enjoyed astronomy and he enjoyed tinkering around with stuff. He was a much better mechanic than I am, mechanical engineer, but uh, anyways, he, he just said he, he enjoyed doing both things, and that's why he started his company. And I like to do the same thing, not to his scale, but anyways, I think that's all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you later.